uh, hello everybody, uh, welcome to the third tutorial on SFML Made Easy. Uh, this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make threads. Uh, now what are threads? Uh, threads are things that allow you to run more than one thing at once. So an example would be a loading screen. When you have a loading screen in the game, you normally uh, um it's there's a loading screen plus the loading the data at the same time. Now the main function like is a thread itself, but in this method is called multi-threading, so you can run more than one thing at once. So you could run like five things at once if you wanted to. And this is the magic of threads. The thing is that you don't want to use threads as um you want to use threads as least times as you can because they can cause problems right but threads are mainly used when you're like loading a game or it's like when you're doing an item menu or something in a game and you want something else to go on in the background like that's the type that's what threads are mainly used for in games so uh let's get started um uh let me zoom in here Okay, so this time we're going to be including the IO stream, and you can um you can put using namespace std if you want, but I'm not going to do it. And I'm putting SFML graphics um, for the thread function, and our main function. Oh man, slate can't really type. Turn zero. <coughs> so, oh man. So now we're gonna be creating a function, and um, our function is gonna be running with another function, our main function, and they're gonna run together, right? So what I mean by that is this. You'll see what I mean. So we're gonna make a void type function. I want to name it thread function. And in the parameters, we're going to name it a void type and name it whatever you want. And in the tutorials, they put user data, so we'll just put user data. Doesn't matter what you put there. And now we're going to be putting a for loop. And we're going to set it to equal to zero. And so we're going to make a loop 10 times you can see. And if you don't know what I'm doing then look at the basics. And we're going to make it output thread to the, to the screen. And you'll see the use of this later. So now we're going to use the thread um, class. And um, so then we, it's basically you define with the SF namespace colon colon thread like we always do and we're gonna name it thread and again since this is a part of the SF namespace the two threads are completely different things right so now um in the parameters we're gonna put ampersand or the and symbol and we're gonna put the function's name so it's named thread function so we're going to put that function here. And um, basically, since this is the asterisk symbol, it's basically a pointer. And the ampersand symbols um, stands for reference. So it's like a reference to a pointer. So that's why we have it there. And so in order to use our thread, we do thread launch. <coughs> and thread launch basically launches our thread right so it uses our thread so whatever is in here it will do it because we named our thread thread and we're using the thread function so whatever in, in here will run it right and so say this was named threads then you have to change the threads launch alright so below that we're gonna make a for loop 
another for loop identical to the one in the thread function. So less than ten I plus plus and std and then this time it's gonna say main. Alright. And that's basically it. So then now if we run our program uh, let's see what we get. So first time we get this, I always normally get that first time. And then look at this. So what do we have here? Well, what a thread does is it running two things at once. So even though we got two for loops, even though the for loops are supposed to run until they finish, they're running two for loops at the exact same time. So then it ran the main for loop twice, then it ran the thread one, then it ran two, it ran three main, then a thread. And because they're on the same line, it means it ran at the, at the exact same time, right? And the reason why it's like this is um called it's asynchronous asynchronously um whenever it's ready, spit it out. So then when the main class is ready, it will spit out um the word main. And because it was ready twice before that, it spit out main twice. So now I want you to think of main as loading images and thread as um a picture that says loading whatever so in the loading screen um it would be loading the images here then it will show the loading screen then it will load two uh, load three images then show the loading screen then load another two images then the loading screen and then so on and so forth but it goes so fast it looks like one motion so that's how that's the magic of threads but then say you don't want threads to move like that like say you have a bunch of threads and you want um one thread to finish then the next one to start and this is called synchronously and um the thing that will help us call mute and uh mutex is allow us to run synchronously rather than asynchronously and i'll be teaching you that in the next tutorial um and uh, one thing to know do not use threads unless you absolutely need them because they can result in problems um which i'll state in my next video um so thanks for watching and bye